Ladies and gentlemen, uh, thank you for having me. Uh, my name is Kari Lichka and it's my pleasure to be your guide uh, through uh, today's uh, demo of Digital Urban European Twin, which has been built in the uh, H2020 project of the same name, Shortcut Duet. So let's go directly uh, to the City Twins uh, platform. As you can see at the very first page, uh, you can see impressive video describing how the platform has been used and uh, what uh, are the advantages uh, of the platform. But uh, you know, I encourage you to to go there and run the video but today i would like to invite you more into the kitchen of uh, of the platform so let's go let's go for the platform my speech will be divided uh, into two parts uh, first we'll describe let's say how a policy maker or some uh, city administration can use uh, the uh, the duet platform uh, in this case you know you can see a lot of use cases which are already described in the platform. Uh, you can organize the use cases uh, by the regions, uh, by, by some topics, etc. For now, I'm just selecting a new development uh, in one street or around one street in the city of Pilsen. And as you can uh, see when I select it, uh, there is the challenge described. The approach uh, we choose for uh, solve the challenge, uh, what we expect as the outcome. There is a description uh, of the use case, the used data, and used models are mentioned. And you can even go and uh, see some videos or check it uh, live on the platform. For now, I will run just uh, uh, some examples from from this video, just to demonstrate uh, to you how uh, there can be you know uh, online 3d edited uh, some features so you can see that there is what is red and uh, gray uh, buildings those are existing buildings the blue buildings are new imported from some outer uh, 3d uh, 3d software in this case uh, i think uh, in the json format but it could be uh, in uh, in another format like ketchup format uh, stl format uh, microstation format etc but you can see uh, how it's possible to to draw here i'm just uh, skip the video a bit to to show you uh, how uh, the extrusion to 3d uh, is done in the platform and uh, also just to see uh, how to add uh, some other other uh, objects in this case uh, a station has been added from from some model library then it's it needs to be you know uh, aligned uh, with uh, with the street in this uh, case and probably also there is a change of the of the size of the building uh, or bus station as we can see later in the video and at the end you can compare the new building situation with the old building situation you can compare it to traffic model in this case uh, you can see the public uh, transportation stations etc so this is something how you can present uh, some new development uh, to the public, for example. But let's go even deeper. Uh, let's say uh, we will take a look into the platform, not uh, you know uh, the presentation phase, which can be used by politicians, but uh, how the technically the platform uh, works. So just to demonstrate some interaction with the platform. Uh, I select uh, one of the tools here. Uh, this uh, this one is uh, called ViewShed, and I can uh, see from uh, from the mouse cursor uh, where I am able uh, to see which part of the city is visible and which is not. I can fix the position, uh, for example, like this. And this is just one of the tools uh, there's plenty of them i don't have time to present them all 
I actually would like uh, to come uh, to the analytical phase of the platform and let's say uh, I will check uh, what would happen if I calm down uh, the city center. You maybe noticed that uh, uh, in this phase all the non-necessary uh, layers uh, was uh, or had been uh, uh, turned uh, off, but let's focus uh, on, on the traffic model here. So as I mentioned, uh, in the analysis uh, we can select uh, Let's say just uh, streets which are uh, enter, entering the traffic into the city center. So I'm selecting them. Uh, if I have more time, I, I should select all of the streets in, but for imagination, I think this will work. Uh, and I'm now running, I'm not excluding any model here, so I'm running traffic model, I'm running uh, air pollution model, and I'm running uh, noise model. So in this uh, moment, uh, I can check in the data, there are several data I can add or uh, remove uh, from the twin, but uh, as you can see, I already have a traffic models result, which will be portrayed uh, in a minute. And the rest of the models uh, is still in calculation, so the air model and the noise model. So in the meanwhile, uh, I can check uh, the output. And oh, I f yeah, yeah, that's that's right, that's, that's correct. Uh, as I close, uh, those inputs, uh, incoming streets, there are still some traffic generators in the area and some uh, car movement is there. So this is why this uh, road is here. But you can see uh, how the traffic actually has been pushed away from the, uh, from the uh, city center and uh, quite far actually, as you see here. Uh, let me just uh, switch it to better better resolution so i think you will have a nicer view and let's see uh, what we see now uh, i can turn off the traffic layer and in the meanwhile as you can see the air calculation delta map uh, has been calculated so uh, you see the decrease and increase of air pollution. I can uh, see the information uh, in the absolute numbers as well. So this is uh, the air pollution. I, ca I can also see as a mesh up, uh, I can see together with the traffic model, I can turn off the air pollution, see just the traffic model. I should be able to uh, see it uh, in comparison uh, also with the buildings. Uh, it would take a while to, to load. Uh, yeah, I forget to turn on the terrain. So uh, I need to turn the terrain as well uh, to, to have everything in relation. And as I mentioned, uh, the noise model is uh, still uh, in calculation, so we need to wait for it. It's uh, quite complex uh, algorithm because uh, we need to calculate even reflections uh, with uh, from uh, from buildings. Uh, so it takes a while to calculate uh, the model, but it should be seems yeah we are getting the result from the noise model as well so let me just uh, we need to wait for the layers to, to be added uh, into the content And 
now we should be we should see the all of those three layers together so yeah i'm turning to 2d it will be maybe better uh, Sorry for the complication, but you can see also uh, those, uh, let's say, virtual microphones we use for calculation of the change uh, in the noise. Uh, as I mentioned, there are still some cars traveling in the area, so th this is why we see uh, those dots here, but you can see the information yeah, I clicked to one particular point so again i can also see the absolute information about the noise i can have all the information together uh, and switching uh, back to 3d i should be able to see it together uh, with the with the buildings then that's a question uh, how to demonstrate uh, this to, to politicians, uh, to policymakers, and uh, to wide public. For that, uh, I can, once I have everything ready, uh, I can go to this cases tab, uh, and uh, if I add a use case, fill all the details necessary. Uh, if I did it, uh, I could have uh, exactly the same use case as I presented for the development in the in the Nepomuska Street. So that's all from me and thank you for your attention.